If you have smart TVs, smart phones, smart security systems, smart anything, you'll want to see this video. Scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, throw that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne secrets. Champagne gang. Fierce fam. Confidant. <laughs> Welcome to the secrets spill. Yeah. Where we spill all the secrets on things you need to know going on around the world. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm the Empress, and you have entered the Champagne City, baby. Yeah, you see it, you see it. Over here, we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink with chaos with a side of charm. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill the secrets, baby, grab you a glass of bubbly and get in here. Now, before we get into our video, I need to show some appreciation to some people who have been rocking with me hard y'all hear me <laughs> so I want to give a special shout out to progressive one who's joined me on some live panel who's always in my chat boosting it up then to Navea, who's been there with me since the beginning then to someone who I love when they comment because it's always filled with wisdom and intellectual knowledge audacity hour thank you for joining me I want to give a special shout out to Zach Mitchell who's been in just about every chat since he's joined the channel Another special shout out goes to Nessie B101. Girl, the way you had me hollering and in shamble on last night in that chat. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of the champagne gang. And a special shout out to Father Lot. Let me tell y'all something. It's one thing for people to just join your channel. It's another thing for people to join your channel when they have a channel. And then for them to support and boost you on their channel. Father Locke has shared video, gave shout out, sent subscribers. And I want to take this moment to show a very deep felt, heartfelt appreciation for you and all that you do. Thank you. And I'm one of those who never forgets who was there for me in the beginning. Stay with me because when God blesses me and blows up this channel, <laughs> I got y'all. I promise you, I got y'all. <laughs> Now let's get into it. So y'all listen, your girl is a gadget girl. I am. I love gadgets. All things gadgets. I feel about gadgets the way some of y'all feel about purses and shoes. Yeah, I could care less about a Louboutin, a Gucci, a Louis, a Prada. I could care less about name brand clothes, shoes, and purses. But if you put a new gadget in front of me, oh baby, you gonna see my eyes light up like it's Christmas time. Oh, baby, you're going to see my eyes light up like I'm a kid on Christmas Day. I promise you. Look, I went on Timu the other day because I wanted to look for me some leggings. I couldn't even get to the leggings because I was stuck on the gadgets. So when I ran across this story, baby, it blew me. It blew me. Because all of us have some form of gadget that has to be run by the internet. Whether it's a cell phone, whether it's a laptop, whether it's a smart TV, Alexa. No matter what you have, we all have something in our house that has to run through the internet. I am not quite sure how to help you with that. See what I mean? Because I wasn't even talking to her. <laughs> I wasn't even talking to her, but it brings light to why this current story is necessary because we could all be being watched and we wouldn't even know it. So we're going to get into this story of this young lady who found out her entire house had been hacked by someone overseas. Now, I know we've heard about our cards being hacked with these skimmers and things like that. I was hacked before. Child, I got a call from my bank. No, I called my bank because I noticed some charges on my account over $2,500 in electronics that had been ordered from my checking account. So I called the bank 
to dispute it and they gave me the number because it all came from the same store. So I contacted the store and the store told me yes, the items had been purchased but they never shipped them out because they felt like it was suspicious to be using information from the United States but wanting the items shipped to Indonesia. So I understood about card hacking but this right here, this blew me. So we're about to get into this story. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think. And at the end of this story, we're going to get into another video that shows us how to protect ourselves. So make sure those glasses are filled to the rim. Scoot up. Let's get into it. Six months ago, our TV just started changing randomly on its own. We didn't know what was going on. So we called Xfinity. We got a new box. We got a new remote. And after that, it started happening again. So we got another box and another remote from Xfinity. And that time the technician took all the old boxes and all the old remotes that we've had, you know, whenever. So they did that. We thought, oh, it's fresh and new, it's all good. Then like three days later after that technician leaves, it starts again. And they're really, it really started with them just changing the tape changing the station a whole bunch of times and we didn't know what was going on with that i thought maybe it was a, a defective remote or box as well that was just why we hit called and you know got you know xfinity to come and bring us new equipment two twice <laughs> and it was still happening so then i started you know getting really confused because it was like okay i keep turning this stuff in and it keeps on happening so what's next so I started talking to Xfinity, seeing what they could do to help. They kept saying it was nothing, it was nothing major, whatever, you know, maybe get another box and another remote again. I was like, okay, I'll entertain that. But then the TV started saying stuff. Me and my kids were up one morning, we're in the kitchen, getting ready for school. And we, were, we started laughing about something. And the TV was like, you're not funny. And the way they would talk to us at first is they would put it into a YouTube search engine. Yep. And that's how we would be able to read what he was saying to us. Yep. And then after that, um, I was just like, whoa, the TV said, you know, we're not funny or whatever. Like, that's weird. Like, how do they know we were laughing? Then I was talking about my old school days where I used to fight. They gonna pop up and say, Whitney, you can't fight. How does this person know my name? You know what I mean? How does this person know what we've been talking about? So I was already freaked out from there. My daughter started crying. I thought it was a ghost. She thought it was a ghost or a spirit, you know, coming through the television trying to talk to us at the time. <laughs> and, you know, at first we was all freaked out by it too. But that wasn't the case, y'all. And this is only the beginning. Once again, not touching nothing, not pressing nothing. And this person is talking about they David Kong. Into my remote. How? How? Like I said yesterday, only one remote to each box. If I got the remote right here and I ain't saying nothing, I ain't typing nothing, I ain't pressing nothing, how's that thing telling me that David Kong? We are recording you because you're a scary bitch. Fly your ass to Fresno. Fly your ass to Fresno. Fly your ass to Fresno. You ain't with that. You a scary ass who on somebody's TV hacking that shit. Go to hell. Yep. Oh, girl, you know I'll stop you down. That's why you over here talking through a TV and not coming to Fresno. Come your ass to Fresno. I don't care. I don't care. Look what you're doing. You're a loser. You're on somebody's TV playing around. You're a loser. Black men ain't better than shit. They all, all men suck since you want to go there. And I don't care if you can talk about how many kids I got. Frustrated with the intruders, Whitney started arguing with them, fully aware that they were listening to everything. Thinking ass Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> Get a life, ho. I'll literally stomp your face in. You're nobody, ho. Bye. 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 We keep talking, unplug the TV. Oh, I got money to go get it. All right, y'all. So after all that, you know, we were still kind of in limbo because it, it like they didn't talk to us all the time at first. They would just pipe in and say little things here and there. So we didn't really know what was, you know what I'm saying? We didn't know how to take this. Everyone over here talking about how come you let it go so long and all this. Initially, we didn't even know we were being hacked, y'all. We were going through all the proper steps, getting new boxes, getting new remotes, doing all those different things, having technicians come out, all that. And it just was not stopping this person. So eventually... They started posting, in a, well, not posting, they started casting videos from wherever they're hacking from to my TV in the living room. 
and it would be inappropriate videos up on YouTube, some nasty fetish stuff about flatulence. And it was popping up, girls passing gas on YouTube on a video. And I was thinking my son was doing it. I'm like, look, man, you know what I mean? You're going to stay off YouTube because you keep on putting up this bull crap. Come to find out, it was the hacker. He just posts inappropriate videos of girls passing gas on YouTube and cast it to your TV. So that had really, that had really threw us too. Like, ew, you're disgusting. You know what I'm saying? You're putting on inappropriate videos for toddlers. They're in here watching uh, egg reveal videos and toy videos on YouTube and you're over here putting on nasty and appropriate stuff for kids. You know what I mean? So it was just, it was, it was mad annoying. And I was just like, okay, something else is up. Something else is up. So it was almost as if y'all, it all started happening so fast with the, with the crazy stuff, because it's almost as if he evolved his technology as he was hacking us. Because at first he couldn't see us, y'all, I'm telling you. At first he said I was a, a, a racist, you know, Caucasian woman. And he bet I owned slaves and all this stuff he was saying at first. And I'm just like, wow. So I started responding to the person and they were responding back to me. And I'm like, damn, how can they hear me? And we also put on like a permissions thing so that he yep. couldn't get onto YouTube. And that's when he started talking through the voice remote. He part. was getting upset. Yeah. Because he couldn't he couldn't do what he wanted to do. Code, and at first he was getting it wrong over and over yep. again. And then somehow he figured out what our passcode was. Yeah. So he would always type that in and go straight back to YouTube. Yep. And straight to the videos. Those nasty videos of girls passing gas. So <sighs> I started going back and forth with him, y'all. And he started going in. I'm talking about this person knew my personal business stuff that we hadn't even spoke about. This is how I knew he was. He was already hacked into our television and just listening at first because he hadn't evolved his hacking skills yet. So he couldn't talk to us yet. He couldn't see us yet. He had our address. Yeah. He had where our my siblings went to school at. Where, where you I went, went to, to school. school yeah. He had all that. He was saying he was going to send us like. He was going to send people to our ho our house and stuff up to my kids. He was telling me uh, every single time I walk past the TV, y'all. Look. Not touching nothing. And they just try to type in personal information. Look, how do they know my passcode? How do they know? Now they're just typing it in and typing it in and typing it in. How do they know? And I got the remote right here, not touching nothing. Xfinity allowed my information to be breached. And now I have someone in a different country hacking my box and talking to me through my remote. So yeah, look, they're trying to, they're trying to get, I, I locked them out of it. Every single time they try to get into my um, areas that they're not supposed to be in, I always, look, I fight with them when they try to type in my pen. So it locks them out. And here we have it. And earlier, I wasn't even fighting with them. They just typed it in wrong four times or whatever, and it locked it out itself. Mm-hmm. How do they have access to my TV? And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I've been wanting to bring this to TikTok for the longest, but I was, I ain't going to front. I was scared of the naysayers. I knew folks was going to say, oh, you're crazy. You need meds. You need this. And that's not the case at all. I am an innocent person that only wanted entertainment for their children. I was a platinum member with Xfinity. Why would I come up with this concoction of bull crap all of a sudden? If I'm a platinum member, that means I stayed paying my bill, baby. It was never no issue. So this is just, it, it just, it, it even more infuriates me. So we're going to keep on going where, um, you know, he just started talking about all of our personal business. I walk past the TV. You see that little uh, voice icon, that little microphone pop up in the left hand corner of the screen at the top. And he was just, you're looking fat today. Oh my gosh, look at you. You have all those black marks all over your body. Your stomach is all fat. You're just disgusting. Then my daughter, he'd be like, you're a J-E-W, which she's not. She's just light-skinned. Then once he found out I had autistic children, he started talking about them. Why are all your kids coming out, you know, R word or whatever. Um, he would watch my kids when they would eat their dinner. Like, it would just pop up. That looks disgusting. You know what I mean? Like, he just was messing with us and being awful towards us. He, he got all my kids spooked. And I know everyone keeps saying, why would you keep it connected? Y'all, we, we unplugged the TV. We unplugged the internet. We would plug it back in just to see if he would go away. He would come right back. And then once he feel like he got a, enough of a rise out of us, then he would go say, leaving headquarters. 
going to a different TV, going to go mess with someone else now. I've had my fun with you. Like, he literally enjoys what he's doing to people. And that's what made me want to post this video. Because I know there was more people out there, not just me. And I'm posting this for the people who are worried about the naysayers. I don't care what y'all say about me in the comments. Say what you want. I'm re I'm looking over them. Because I know what happened to me and my kids. We went through it. We know what happened to us. And it's absolutely awful. It happened through Xfinity, and we know it did, because he told us it did. He literally was sitting there divulging all their information. Not only that, you guys, it's not just him. It's a whole underground organization. That's why you hear us saying, oh, Sandy got the wrong TV. Sandy is one of them. There's a Muhammad. There's a Hot Rods. There was a Latricia from New York, who I fussed out so doggone bad, I scared her. And then here he come, David Kong. She's getting fired. She's not, she's not meant for this job. Like it's a job I kept asking him why are you doing this to us he said because I was hired to do so I was assigned to your TV look at this look at this y'all wrong wrong what wrong what y'all are being recorded I'm making a police report today y'all are, are gonna get in trouble ultimately Sandy you got the wrong TV Ooh, TV cheese and nets on Ooh, it's all good because I'm nobody, I'm recording. Nobody has the remote. Either. Nah, there's no there's not even any batteries in it. We only got one set of batteries for both TVs right now. The batteries are in my remote in the back. So look, 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 look. There's one, there's one battery. Look, it says they're recording. They're they're recording us. They're still like talking. Yeah. Let's show them that. Let's show them that. Let's show them that. Yeah. What I tell y'all. Ain't nothing. They didn't realize that we was gonna see all of what they was just saying right now. That's what I do gotta they say. Was they was communicating with each other. other. Yep. And didn't realize. Talking about we got the wrong TV. Sandy wow. Wrong TV. Miss Sandy located in India. Got the wow. Wrong TV. Wow. Definitely making a police report today for one sure. Battery. I hope they get every single one of you motherfuckers. I'm here to address some of the comments that were like, oh, put tape on the cameras. We contacted Samsung, which is the company of our TV, and they said they don't have any cameras yep, no IP on the TV. address on the TV, nothing. But We've done all we can do. We did put tape around the rim of sure our did. TV, and they were the like- The hacker at the moment, because yes, I'm telling you, it's, there's it's more a bunch than one of them. Hacker. Yeah, it's not just David Kong. The girl who, it was a girl this time, and she yep. was saying, remove the tape, Take remove the, the tape. tape. Down. Mm -hmm. She was like, I'll tell you where I'm from if you remove the tape. Yep. And then later we found out that it, was, it wasn't it was even the tape. It was because David Kong didn't give her access to the camera part of our... Yep. Our Another hacker thing. came and told us that we can't see you guys. Only David Kong can. All we can do is control your TVs and we can talk back and forth to you. Yes. That's it. He didn't give us access to see you. He's the only one that can see you guys. So, yeah. And that, that man, I, I even told him, man, y'all, he's obsessed. Like, why do you, you're calling me fat. You're calling me ugly. You're telling me, well, uh, you have, you got all them kids. Ain't no man never going to want you. And, you know, just all these awful things, y'all. And y'all over here talking about, oh my gosh, she needs a therapist. She trying to get a check. No, I'm trying to raise awareness. It's not just happening to me. And I know it because he told me it's not. Y'all see him saying leaving headquarters. That means he finna go to another TV. That means he's done with us. We, he got, he got the satisfaction he needed out of us. And y'all saying we want to check, but we would rather be able to just watch our TV regular than have exactly. all that money. I'm it, it's all it's never money. that serious. Never. We pay, we pay our bills. We don't really and need to And why would I come no up check. with this out of nowhere? Come on now. Look, y'all, we did everything we could do. I, I swapped the boxes several times. We unplugged the TV. We unplugged the boxes. My kids need internet. It was summertime. What did y'all want me to do? We did everything we could do. Why are y'all blaming me and not blaming Xfinity? This shouldn't have never been able to happen. But they allowed it because they don't care. I called them. They don't give a damn. They laughing at me. All kind of stuff. Talking about, oh, that's impossible. He can't see you. But I'm doing this, y'all. I'm doing this. If I'm, if you can see me, what am I doing? He going to say, you're doing helicopter arms. Oh, yeah, let's get the one where I said, can you see us? Can you see us? Because we stuck uh, a towel over the cable box. And he going to tell me, no, I can't see because Holden is in the way. Holden is my three-year-old. 
This man was in our house like he was us. He our family. All the business. He knew all the business. My name, my brother's name, my other brother's. He knew all he knew of our everything. names. Everything. He said, "My kids don't like me. My older two kids don't like me. We are gonna go ahead and get it into it. We are gonna tell you guys everything. Yeah, it's, a, it's. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. And because this is real. To the people saying, "Why didn't you just unplug it? We unplugged we our box and we were just Got using our PS5. Yep. We were watching TV on our PS5 because you know how Pluto, Netflix. That's yep. what we were doing. He was controlling our TV and turning off our TV, and we couldn't even watch the PS5 no and more. And we didn't correlate." that it, it was a, a connection to the internet that's what we didn't get okay so all that happened like it was two months of this i'm not gonna lie like they've been clearly listening to us a lot longer because they were saying things about my baby dads you know what i mean that i hadn't even talked about recently so i knew they were uh, at first they could only listen then they evolved their hacking and they could type to us they could voice remote to us or whatever then after that he could see us I mean, and, and now it's even worse, y'all. I went on ahead and got sick of this because Xfinity wasn't helping me. The police wasn't helping me. I made a police report. I did everything I could, y'all. I'm telling you. Everyone in the comments telling me, why, why is she leaving on so long? Why didn't you change? Just unplug it. Just throw the TV out. Man, that's a 60-inch Samsung perfectly fine TV, man. Why would I just throw that away? Would y'all? Like, and I can't sell it. I'm not selling no hack TV. I'm not, I'm not going to get nothing. I got to get rid of all my stuff in my apartment. I was wondering, he kept on saying, your your kitchen is a mess. You got uh, bags all around your area. I'm thinking, how the heck is he seeing into my kitchen through the living room? Y'all, it was through my computer. Wherever we connected this Wi-Fi to. Now, this is just recently where we have connected the dots on this, it being the Wi-Fi thing. Because he was able to get in and see us through whatever device we had connected to our Xfinity internet. That's just the truth. And so we recently went ahead and changed services, y'all. I'm talking about within the last four days, we got DirecTV, thinking it was going to end our problem. Because before that, we had unplugged that TV. We had hooked in a different TV from the back of the house, brought it to the living room. He was turning that mug on and off, too. I mean, beating us at every single thing we could come up with. So I was like, forget this. Called Xfinity, sat on the phone for four hours with them, y'all. Getting passed from person to person to person to person to person. Being laughed at, gawked at, told that this ain't real, told this is impossible, told ain't nobody looking at you. They doing all that. Mind you, we have videos. I asked them, do you guys want the videos? Give me an email. I'll send them all to you guys right now. And they're like, no, 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 because we don't want to be liable for seeing it. Then we have to say that we knew about it or whatever else. Even if we do or don't believe it, we're supposed to investigate it. You just telling on yourself. Ain't this a recorded line? So... We did do everything we could, you guys. Like, we literally did. We really, really did. So I got new cable. That's where we're going next. Whereas, you know, we're getting more up, up to date, up to the most current moment right now, what we're going through with it. If your TV is changing by itself, you've been hacked. Um, if you're coming in your house and all of a sudden YouTube is on, you've been hacked. Um, if you see weird names attached to your um, internet, that's connected to your internet, you've been hacked. I mean, that's really just what I'm here for. And I really want to get the word out because I thought maybe if we did do this and get the word out, Xfinity would actually do something about it. But they ain't going to do nothing, y'all. They don't care. They ain't going to do nothing. Just like they said, we don't want to see your proof because we don't want to be liable. How dare you be so bold to say that on a recorded line? You don't care about your job, do you? I mean, we don't went through the worst that it can be with this hacking stuff. Nah, let me be real. The worst that can happen is people just randomly popping up to my shit. That's going to be worse. That's when I'm going to go to jail because mm -mm, I'm definitely going to do the time <laughs> and, and, and gladly to protect my kids. You, you came in our home hacking our television and looking at us in, in our most, you know, private moments. If I ever get a hold of you. Someone said set a GoFundMe for lawyer expenses. I ain't said, I'm not setting up a GoFundMe because that's all people think I did this for. And I don't need it. I promise y'all I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. If people wanted to help, that's great. It's not about money, y'all. It's about finding some help. Me and my kids just want to enjoy TV together, man. We barely go anywhere as it is. And that's our favorite pastime. Watching Disney movies together and, you know, making popcorn, getting a the little movie theater candies, you know, just hanging out and having a good time. I got a video on my page right now where we have movie night. Y'all can go look at it. Like my kids are my everything, man. I'm not doing this to do not to be on be no clout or nothing. 
I just want help. I want someone to help me. And everyone's in the comments. We are helping you. Please don't get an attitude with me. And it's not because I'm being rude back to you, but please don't get an attitude with me. I'm going through enough. I just, right now I'm, I'm all over the place with it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even, just, just yesterday, we realized he was hacking into our direct TV again. I sat right in front of my computer, y'all, and handled business. And I'm whispering my social to the call, to the, to the person on the line, when I was uh, setting up my direct TV. David Kahn watching me right through my damn uh, computer the whole time, probably. You know? This is her social media, but can y'all imagine what she has to be going through? Knowing that her whole life is being watched through her internet and her internet provider seems not to care. Aren't there supposed to be laws to protect against this kind of thing? Shouldn't security systems have backups for their security systems to make sure their customers are not breached? Can you imagine purchasing a camera so that you can see what's going on in your house? Then you decide to have secret fellowship with your significant other. And then you find out that fellowship isn't so secret anymore because it's being broadcast to who knows where, when, and how. And not being able to get any help for it because people think you're crazy. Chad. Your home is supposed to be your safe space, your safety away from all the chaos in the world. Can you imagine how it would feel to find out your entire home has been hacked? So now not even your home is safe anymore. You have children who are at home while you're at work or abroad, and you have cameras set up in your house to make sure those teenagers aren't doing something foolish, only to find out that you're not the only one watching your children. Can you imagine how scary that is in this day and age? Check out this news clip that's addressing some of the danger of these smart products. These devices are the focus of a demonstration you really need to see. Five on Your Side investigator Jonathan Walsh shows us just how easy it is to hack your home. Well, I can see who's in the driveway and who's coming up the front walk and who's at the front door. Gloria Bevan has a ring camera system, a smart TV, and a wireless printer. She's worried about just how exposed she is. I don't like that you have access to what I'm doing in my house. So we started with one of Gloria's neighbors. We are in an undisclosed location in our mobile unit. Our ethical hacker, Rob, is going to show us how it's done. A lot of these things can be done pretty easily. Rob Simon has been hacking for years. He tells us a simple tossed out light bulb can trash your personal accounts. We can pull the internals of that out and then we can look for the flash memory chips that are on there that store all of the information as well as the settings for connecting to your network. He extracted potentially damaging info like passwords, all with the help of this. You can get this anywhere? Yeah, you can get this anywhere. This is just a cheap device. It costs about $15. While sitting in our van, Rob was able to gain control of this thermostat using just commonly known passwords. Not only can he create problems with freezing out the home, but it's a high-tech way of casing the house using the calendar on the thermostat. Maybe he's scheduling a lower temperature than you would typically use for, say, about a week. It might be possible that the user is going to be on vacation during that time, so they might not be home. Funny thing is, the house Rob just hacked belongs to Alex Hammerstone from Trusted Set, who helped us with this demonstration. If you use the same password across multiple sites, your account is only going to be as secure as the weakest site where you use it. Problems are prevalent. Data breaches are happening all the time, affecting millions of people's private info. People are paying to get this type of information. There's always going to be people out there that are going to be doing it. Plus, a quick Google search shows hacking courses popping up in under a second. We found hackers' presentations on YouTube. Hack all the things, 20 devices in 45 minutes. It's such a massive worldwide issue that hits the U.S. hard. It's like you know, leaving your blinds open and a bunch of people looking in at you. A previous Five on Your Side investigation found a website that's hacked into thousands of cameras online for anyone to see. Medical procedures, a naked man, and children. Plenty of them in schools, in daycares, and at home. We found a local victim whose home camera was hacked. Should have been very much more diligent about realizing it's a window into your home. With so many internet-connected products out there, even microwaves, vacuums, and door locks, the experts say it's time for all of us 
not just Gloria. Especially for older people like me, we don't really know what we're doing with this stuff. To use protections like multi-layer authentication, where a text can tell if it's you in an account. That's going to help prevent someone from gaining access, even if they did have your credentials. And pay a lot more attention to our internet-connected products. People oftentimes think of their technology devices like a toaster, which you buy, you use for 20 years, and then you get another one. But really, it's a lot more like a car. It requires updates and maintenance. So, let's close the door on the criminals. I'm Five on Your Side investigator, Jonathan Walsh. This is damn diabolical. Absolutely and damn sane. Because we all use a device that has to be connected to the internet. We don't know what their security systems are for these cell phones, these laptops, our internet provider. We recently just saw Microsoft got hacked. I don't care what they say. What they're trying to convince you about a software update. They were hacked, breached, takeover. We saw what happened to that. And they are a billion dollar company, supposedly with systems set up to protect against this kind of thing. But everyday users like us, we're not paying attention to this. All we're thinking of, go on Amazon Prime and order a security system. Not realizing that Amazon is full of third party sellers who are selling through Amazon. These are not Amazon's products. So we go on Amazon, Timu, and we look for these items and we purchase based on the description, based on what the customers have to say. Then we bring them home and plug them up, not realizing we could be giving this third party access to everything going on in our homes, around our homes, intimate moments conversations, vital information like social security numbers. How many times have you had to give out your social security number over the phone, over a computer, thinking that the individual that you're talking to is safe, but not realizing that your phone or your computer or your security system could be hacked. I'm telling y'all, this blew me. I was floored because like the old TV show used to say, <laughs> baby, this is a different world from where we came from. And everyone's into modern technology. But who's sitting back and assessing the dangers of all of this modern technology that we are purchasing for ourselves? Because like me, it's a new gadget and it looks fun and it lights up and it does 12 different things. But we don't stop to think about the security portion of it. Is this item secure? If you want to see how deep this rabbit hole goes, take a look at this next video. And if this doesn't make you wake up and pay attention, baby, I don't know what will. We're traveling to a small town in southern Ontario to deliver some disturbing news. Is it? A family who lives here is being watched by the whole world, and they don't know it. Here they are, renovating their front porch. And here again, sharing more intimate moments on the back deck. Captured by their own security cameras, and broadcast over the internet for all to see. Anyone can keep an eye on their comings and goings. That's how we've tracked them down, through their license plate. You can even watch on their cameras as we arrive to alert them to what we found. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. Are you the homeowner? I am. My name is Mark. I'm with uh, the CBC. Mm -hmm. We're kind of here for a strange reason. It uh, it has to do with your security cameras. Okay. I don't know if you realize this, but those cameras are actually broadcasting on the internet. See that right there? And you could just get that. That's right, yeah. This is what's going on right now. What do you think about that? No, I don't like that at all. You had no idea that this was possible? No. How long have you had those cameras up? Six months, maybe. Six months? Yeah. And where did you get them? Uh, through Amazon. I ordered them. You got just them? Just online. Okay. Just, uh, they were just a plug-and-play system, so it was easy, no wires. Um, everything was wireless through your internet, so... 
I didn't realize that anyone could have access to that. Everyone could have access to that. On this website that searches out and shows security cameras that are using default password settings. Toronto, Chatham, Medicine Hat. We've got a house here in Mississauga. Over here we have one in Vancouver. There are tens of thousands of them streaming from across Canada and around the world. And people don't know that these cameras can be accessed by anybody. They're putting together a puzzle. I can almost see... Wow. Clothes on the chair. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. I can see her. Over the next several weeks, we try to figure out where exactly these people live so we can warn them. And as we search for clues, we find more private moments. By the pool, in the kitchen, even upstairs near their bedrooms. Moments not meant for public viewing. And then, one day. So we've been looking for clues, and today we got a hit. You see this right here? This is the first time that we've been able to make out a license plate. By searching the license plate and various websites, we narrow it down to an address. But is it the right one? There's a pole here, you can see the light pole. Let's go back to the video and you can see this here, which seems to match the Google Maps street view of this address. We're going to their house, we're going to tell them what we've been seeing and what other people can see. We're heading down the highway days later when we think someone's home. And once again, our arrival is being broadcast over the internet. Hi. Hi. I'm Makda with the CBC. Yes. And um, the reason why I'm here, it has to do with your security cameras. I don't know if you realize this, but those security cameras are actually broadcasting on the internet. No, I didn't know that. The homeowner wants his identity protected, even though his life has already been watched around the world. We're about to show him how. You, you can see here it's a bit of a delay, but then I'm just going to... Well, that's no good. Let's see, that's us right there. Mm -hmm. And these are your, your cameras. Did you ever think that something like this no. was possible? No. And how, how long have you had these cameras? February. Okay. Can I ask, what, what, why did you think of getting them and setting them up around the home? Well, I have teenage kids. I want to see what's going on in my home. Got it. Especially when I'm away, traveling. So you, you got them for the safety of your family? Yeah. And you never thought something like this would be that anybody could just... No. ...look into your house? No. He struggles to process the information. Steps he's taken for security may actually be causing harm. And what exactly have people seen? I mean, I have a pool. I come in and out and this and that. And, you know, if my kids aren't around, I don't need to change or whatever. I just, you know, it's just my privacy's blown already. So I don't know how you make that right. How are you going to have the, the conversation with your family about this? I'm not sure. Not sure. It's quite upsetting and disturbing. Yeah. Not gonna lie. That's the privacy of my home being invaded, right? Mm -hmm. Knowing that these cameras are playing for anyone to watch, if we figured it out, it doesn't take much for anyone else to figure it out. Well, I'll be disconnecting as soon as I go back in. Can y'all imagine someone knocking on your door and telling you that they found you via your license plate that was broadcast on the internet through your security system? That's just insane to me. But check out this next portion of the video where they try to figure out how this is happening. Check it out. So how did the privacy of these homeowners get so violated? We do more digging. 
We have a delivery. Professional video security. This camera system is the same type used by both families. It's sold by a company called O6. Let's get these positioned so we can spy on you while you work. Oh, that just sounds great. <laughs> okay, so what's this one? This one's the bottom right. Setup yep. is relatively easy, but when it comes to connecting it to the internet, the problem becomes clear. The system does not require you to set a password. The default factory setting password is empty. This means you do not need to fill out a password. Username admin. That means once it goes online, other people could access your cameras too. And there are no warnings. Okay, All that's right. the problem. We ask O6 why it doesn't insist on a password, like some other companies do. But they wouldn't answer our questions. Across Canada, homes are being transformed by so-called smart devices that promise to make things more convenient and more secure. It's automated control of everything, from our lights and locks to our TVs and temperature. Alexa, set the thermostat to 23. Okay. Alexa, kitchen light on. Okay. In Canada alone, more than 100 million of these devices are now connected to the internet. But there's a downside. Many people don't know how to secure their smart devices, allowing hackers and pranksters to invade their homes and their privacy. What was that? This woman is terrified by the 21st century version of a crank call. Whoever's controlling her camera can also communicate with her. Even little babies fall victim. Traumatized at night by someone who's taken control of the baby monitor. So let me tell you why this is so important. We're about to talk about the US dollar for a second. Do you know how much the US dollar is worth in some of these countries? Let's say through your computer or through your smartphone or through your camera system, you've been hacked and they've accessed all of your banking information. Let's just say in your bank account, you have 1500 US dollars. Well, if I am a hacker in Nigeria, that $1,500 just made me over 2 million. If I am a hacker in Indonesia, that $1,500 just made me over 23 million. If I am a hacker in Mexico, it just made me over $28,000. And in Canada, for the Canadian dollar, it's still a significant come up. Hackers are going to target where they can do the most damage and get the most profit out of it. So we need to know how to protect ourselves because they're not doing it. I'm not understanding with all of the scamming going on and with all of the hacking going on, why governments aren't initiating an initiative to protect its people against this happening. See, stuff like this can ruin your entire life. If y'all have not seen the movie The Beekeeper, you need to see it because it has to do with stuff just like this with Jason Statham. Please go see it. Awesome movie. But it shows you how easily with one click you can give hackers access to everything you own. And by the time you realize what happened, it's too late. Everything is gone. So in this next video clip, they're going to show this family how easy it is to hack into their entire system. Anything that's controlled by Wi-Fi. Check this out. <laughs> The dark side of this new technology might not occur to most. Yeah, we have that's one of these the indoor. Hmm. Joanna Kenwood and Peter Urima think smart devices yeah, are both cool and convenient. I love it. I think it just makes life so much easier. But they're looking for security too. And that's why I kind of like having the different security cameras so you know what's going on. So they're careful to pick top brands that promise security as a priority. Cameras by Nest and a new lock by Schlage for the front door. It's connected to a central hub made by Wink, 
All of the devices are controlled by apps on their phones or by their Amazon personal assistant. Thermostat is off. Yeah, I'd want to get more of them, just spread them out a little bit more so we can actually walk throughout the house and have the different ones going. But could devices like these actually make us more vulnerable? We're about to find out. Park, park right here. Yeah, park this right van here. is carrying three white hat hackers. Arseni, Chris, and Michael work for a company called Scalar. Capture the, uh, the wireless packets. Businesses hire them to test and their security, to find clear. weaknesses before the bad guys do. There we go. Joanna and Peter have agreed to let these guys do whatever it takes to hack their home. Okay. It isn't long before they figure out a key component. There we go. There it is, guys. Ooh. Nice. They crack the password to the home's Wi-Fi network. Free Wi-Fi, everyone, now. And then discover it's the same password used by Peter to control the thermostat. All right. Connected. But to get full control, they decide they need Joanna's password, too. Back at headquarters, they create a phishing email. It's a fake, designed to trick Joanna into revealing her password. Oh, she has opened it. Oh, message has been opened. If she clicks on the link they sent, they'll be able to control just about every smart device in her house. The waiting game doesn't last long. Oh, here we go. We got credentials. All right, let's test them. Awesome. And just like that, they are ready to hack the home. Don't let this happen to you. That's pretty terrifying that they're able to get into to so many devices. How to fight back against a home hack. Shopify's point of sale system helps you sell at every stage of your business. You need a fast and secure way. Do you have a story you want us to investigate? Write to us, marketplace at cbc.ca. This is your marketplace. We're inside a home in Oakville, Ontario, filled with smart devices. What is it that you guys like about having these smart devices? Convenience. Uh, just some of the simpler things, if your hands are full, you need a light on, or... I like the security. I like being at work and having the notifications going off and knowing what's going on at my house while I'm away from it. But outside, three guys in a van who have a point to prove about that security. They're going to try to hack it. So it's good to go. Okay, so let's let's take a look. Let's see what we have in here. Do you guys have a favorite device? That's a good question. I'm gonna say it's probably the inside camera just so I can see the doggies and see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> what's going on? Did you guys see that just now? Attention, John and Peter. Your home is being hacked. Well, that's surprising. Yeah. <laughs> Expect that? No, no not no. the Nest camera. Because <laughs> they usually, you know, they're supposed to be at the top of the line, most secure out there. He just talked to you through that. I know. <laughs> and did you see what was going on behind us? Yeah. It's time to turn off the heat. Check your thermostat. Well, our AC just been put up to 32 degrees. <laughs> 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 so it's going to get hot here. <laughs> So what do you think about that? That's pretty terrifying that they're able to get into to so many devices, especially, I'd say more so the, the living room camera, I think. Because that's, you know, it's our home, it's the inside. We have a child in here and to know that someone can get into it. Outside in the van, they're not done yet. Things are about to get even more disturbing. As our hackers show some real damage they can do when they target this personal assistant. 4K TV. I've added Samsung 4K TV to your shopping list. Now, what if someone could actually do that? Now, I also wonder if they have access to my full Amazon account, which has my credit cards, my bank card, 
everything's on there. And what if they do? I guess I'm gonna be really broke soon. <laughs> I know a lot of money. <laughs> Did you guys? Do you wanna see what's going on outside? Have a look at your security camera. What's going on? Mm -hmm. It doesn't want to load up right. Oh, no, there it goes. Offline. Your camera's offline. Yep. So if I was at work and someone was coming on the property, I would have no idea. You can only see us when we want you to. And this time is now. So he said, you can only see us when we want you to see us. That's so creepy. You said it's creepy. Why? What's that? <laughs> That's her front door lock. That's her front door lock, <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I'd say that one's the more troubling of any of them. And I'm locking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel unsecure now. <laughs> Hi, I'm just letting myself in. My name is Arseni. We've just compromised your house. Just Sorry, unlocked <laughs> your, yep. your lock and walked in here. No. How are you guys feeling right now? To be honest, a little terrified. <laughs> Why? Um, I'm gonna say, especially if I'm not around, we do have animals and we do care about their well-being. And you know, we don't have the fanciest things, but you know, you just feel invaded. It's your, it's your stuff. It's your home. You know, covering up all over. Arseni says his team could have done a lot of damage if they really wanted. Like you saw us, we could you know knock off the camera and come over, open the door, grab a package or whatever and leave. What advice do you have for them? How can they make sure to secure their devices? Right. Well, for one, change your passwords. <laughs> uh, you want to have different passwords for each one of your online accounts. Make sure you use uh, you know extra secure passwords for critical stuff like your email or say a Nest camera, because Nest camera is a window into your real life, right? It really is. It is. And you, you want to use two-factor authentication where it's possible. Strong passwords are a must. The longer, the better. At least 16 characters. In fact, try using a password phrase. Three or four words that don't mean anything together, but you'll remember. Or use a password manager that generates and remembers passwords for you. As for the makers of smart devices... Did someone log in? Is it a suspicious login? Is it not your home IP address? Arseni would like to see some changes. What can the manufacturers do to make things more secure? The main things that they could implement would be use of two-factor authentication, because, you know, having just a password as the only thing that protects your smart home is not enough. Two-factor or two-step authentication is already offered by some companies like Apple and Google. When you log into your account on a new device, they ask for a special code that they send to your phone. Confirmation it's really you and not someone who stole your password. We asked the makers of Peter and Joanna's devices about two-step authentication and why it's not required. Amazon and Nest both say they have that option and encourage people to use it. Schleg says its lock just took orders from the Wink Hub. And as for Wink, after we share the results of our investigation, it announces a big change. Wink is now taking immediate steps to implement two-factor authentication. Meantime, our homeowners are taking steps too. Those unsecured cameras were quickly unplugged and are no longer open for the world to see. The clock seems to have stopped on that one. And Peter and Joanna, they've learned a thing or two. How are you guys feeling about this? You got these devices because they were cool and convenient and they were and supposed to be secure. <laughs> do you feel that way still? Not really. <laughs> no, I'd probably take the door lock off of the Wi-Fi and just keep it as a keypad. <laughs> Any other changes you would make? Uh, definitely passwords. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would be the first thing after yeah. you guys leave. Everything yeah. is going to get changed. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to change every password I have. <laughs> Two-step authentication, fingerprint, 
retina scan. Hell, what else can I use? Because what? Think of how many times you change clothes or get undressed with your computer open. A lot of these newer smart TVs have cameras on them. Not to mention a lot of this stuff is controlled by AI. What if the AI get mad at you? What if someone trains the AI to capture your information? So now we're fighting against AI and hollow man in our smart devices and internet systems. Y'all, this is insane. And it makes you wonder what's coming next. Because technology is constantly evolving. But who's monitoring it to make sure you're safe? Since we now know virtually no one, then that means we have to start taking steps to make sure we're protected. Our families are protected. Our vital information is protected. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this video. What you think about your ability to be hacked through these third parties, through hackers in other countries, about the safety of your important information. Hell, for all we know, this isn't coming from another country. It could be coming from right here in the United States. It could be coming from your government, testing to see whether or not they can hack or access the information of their resident. This is crazy. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Consider joining the Champagne Gang and the Fizz Fam. Become a confidant. And if you're not sure just yet, don't worry about it. I'll leave the light on for you. <laughs> consider supporting the channel. The Cash App is on the screen. Just so you know, we are up to 2.9K watch hours and 561 subscribers on our road to 1K. Thank you for everyone who's watched, liked, commented, jumped in the chat, engaged with us. You are so appreciated. Until next time, confidants, always remember. If it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink till we meet again. Ta-ta.